Welcome to Dreamfall Chapters, Book 1. This is the episodic, Kickstarter-funded continuation of the Longest Journey and Dreamfall series. The Longest Journey came out in 1999, and Dreamfall in 2006. And Dreamfall ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, so we've been waiting eight years for the continuation of the story past this cliffhanger. It's been a long time coming. This has been developed by Red Thread Games, who split off from Funcom, the developers of the original two games, and this is their first release as a new studio. You can grab it from GOG and Steam, and I'll have links to both of those things in the description. So I played it for about five minutes so far, just to, you know, make sure all my settings are set correctly and all of that, and... So far, I am freaking in love with it. I love it so far. Oh my god, it seems so good. I, I can't wait to get into it, so... Yeah, let's get going. New game. Alright. Just talking about how it keeps track of choices, which is something that should be interesting. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. Yeah, apparently you can view the decisions that other people made, and your decisions also get saved, so that other people can view what decisions you've made. Not sure how that's going to work out, but I guess we'll see. There are two worlds. Our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the Storytime. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come, but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams.
They say that every story has a beginning and an end, but that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. Here we go. Man, when I first got into it, when I first got to this point, I was just already amazed with, with what I've seen. I mean, so far it looks great, the music is amazing, the voice acting is also amazing. Oh, I love it. Alright, let's take a look around. It just looks really good, doesn't it? I really didn't expect it to look this good. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down. I hope it's just a dream construct. Take a skateboard to that line, you'd build up a lot of speed. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. I don't know if that's how I actually look out there or if it's just wishful thinking. Everything in here is made of dreams. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. It's a mess. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day. Keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. It's a mess. Yeah, I went over here before to take a look at this photo right here and there's like, there's like two or three minutes of just pure fascinating dialogue that just comes from this one picture. It's really amazing. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, it sort of was. Reza visits a lot. Talks to me for hours. It's good. 
It's good, like we're reconnecting. But then sometimes, I don't know why, it's like he's a stranger. Like someone's wearing his skin. Oh, that's, oh, that's weird and sick and probably all in my head. Still, I have this vivid memory of the first time he came by and what popped into my head was, that's not Reza. Yeah, I remember that from the end of Dreamfall. I don't know. It was probably because I thought I'd lost him. I spent weeks looking for him. It's how I ended up here, sort of. Maybe seeing him just triggered a lot of feelings. I don't know. I think there's more to it than that. Sometimes when Reza talks to me, he says he wants to try again. With us. If I wake up, I want to give it a shot. I wasn't totally fair to him the first time around. Reza and me in Cape Town. A lifetime ago. And there's good old Wonkers. I love you, Wonkers. Wonkers. My old Wattilla. Alright, one second. I need to do a little bit of changing in the audio options. Alright, there we go. The music was a little bit too loud compared to everything else. I don't know why they brought him to the hospital, but I'm glad they did. It's to watch over me, to protect me. Wonkers watches over me, night and day. He may be just a toy bot, but there's something comforting about that. Oh, he's better than any guard dog. Faithful old Wonkers. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. Hmm. It is, isn't it? I know they mean well, but my hospital room is beginning to look like a memorial. Let's see if there's anything else here. I don't believe... Like, it mentioned when I looked at this picture that there's additional interactions I can do. I don't think it was actually talking about the picture, though. Dad... I'm not sure how if Dad... No, Gabriel, stop. Dad... Gabriel... Stops by every day. Keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. Alright. Let's look out at this trapped dreamer up here. I, yeah, I think this is what I meant by the multiple interactions. Look or touch. I hear her calling out for help. She's trapped in a looping night terror. Let's go help her. All right, <laughs> she's. It's, oh, no! <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, it's terrifying to her, but um, yeah, she's stuck in a bit of a, a horrible loop. No! All right. Help me! I could try to reach out to her. Let me try that. But there's a little bit of a problem with that. Alright, try to grab her. Yep, too fast. I can't grab her. She's falling too quickly. So, we need to slow her down. Which apparently I can do because uh, apparently I have special powers. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'll take it. I'm actually not sure what all these symbols mean. I know this one, the bottom one, is the one that I want, but I think the left one is... Hear her thoughts or something she's ah, out of control God. completely overwhelmed she'll just keep falling she won't be able to escape the loop without my intervention oh i think it's i think they're all powers i think that one on the left is to kind of like read her her mind her feelings let's see what this one is Ooh, help shiny me. but no that probably won't help what <laughs> what's shiny Alright, let's actually help her. She suffered enough, I'm oh sorry. No! Alright, so this is gonna slow her down. And now she's slow enough Hold and we can up. grab her. Oh god, don't let go! Thanks for... for saving me. 
Feels like I've been falling forever. What is this place? A bad dream. I'm here to help you wake up. Okay. Okay, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. I could have sworn it was... This feels so real. In a few moments, it won't. You'll forget all about it. But I want you to remember one thing. Stop using that thing, the dream machine. Stop using it or you'll be back, and maybe I won't find you next time, and maybe you'll be stuck in a nightmare forever. Oh god, no. No, I promise I'll remember. Do something else with your spare time. G go shopping, have lots of sex, take more naps, anything but this. Time to wake up. Thank you. Again. Who are you? Doesn't matter. You won't remember anyway. Just go and never come back. Alright, so that is as far as I've played so far. So I'm in completely unexplored territory from here on out. God, I love just the, the walking animations. They're so good. I could walk Zoe around in a circle for like half an hour. The way she tilts to the side as you turn. Okay, I guess we should actually do something. Uh, what's with that darkness over there? That dream is just... total blackness. The absence of light. That's weird. Let's go check it out. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't... I can't move. I, I can't go anywhere. It's too dark. No. Don't. Don't come any closer. Who are you? Why are you here? Leave me alone. The darkness. It's everywhere. It's getting closer. Oh man, I can't see anything. I can't leave. It's not safe out there. Come with me. I'll help you escape. What? Who? Who are you? You're dreaming. I'll help you get back. Follow me. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't... I can't move. I can't go anywhere. It's too dark. Just way too dark. You can do it. The darkness... It's getting closer. It's not moving. It's fine. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. He's absolutely terrified of the dark. He's so, so afraid of the dark. Of what hides in it, but there's something else. Oh, I can't get a grip on it. Alright, see what this one is. I still don't know what this one on the right is. Well, it just seems like it makes me light up, which actually might be good for guiding him out of the dark. Yeah, it could be like a, a runway light or something. Follow my beacon! Could slow down time? I'm not sure how that would help. As long as he believes in it, his light will stay strong. Does this help at all? Doesn't seem to. Could go see what's on up ahead. But I feel like I should make him follow me before I go there. Can you please help me find my way? I can. Hmm, maybe I could turn on the next light. Let's go see. Uh, it seems like it's burned out, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem I can.
Oh, oh, I can look at that. All right, here we go. Now we're onto something. Get further away from it, maybe. Oh wait, maybe I can just look at these. Yeah, there we go. Okay, got it. So this, maybe this will give it power. Can yes. It no, that can't. That can't be. This, this is too real. Too real. That's because you're connected to a dream machine. If you remember nothing else when you wake up, remember this. The dream machines are dangerous. Don't use them, or you'll get stuck here, and maybe I won't find you again. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'll remember. I swear. I don't ever want to come back. I won't touch a dream machine again. That bulb Almost won't there. last long. The dark. The dark is everywhere. I have to go back. Back to the light. Mm, it's already lit. I can't make it any huh? brighter. The dark is everywhere. I have to go back. Back to the light. Alright, doesn't stay lit long enough. Hmm. Can't do this one. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's see if I can... Like... Stack them. Maybe I can slow down time. Hmm. Seems like I can't interact with it until that's done. <laughs> Read its mind. My mental powers do not extend to inanimate objects or light bulbs. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm lit. I'm lit. Come to me. I have to go back. Back to the light. I can slow him down, or does that slow everything down? I'm not really sure how these mental powers work exactly yet. Let's try slowing him down. I don't see what that's going to help, but... No, that's an exceptionally bad idea. The dark is everywhere. I have to go back. Back to the light. Oh, wait, there we go. Now I can slow it down. That's weird. It didn't seem like it was allowing me to do multiple actions before. All right, quickly. Come on. Stay close to me, and you'll be fine. <laughs> I hate the dark. <laughs> I can't stand it. You have a light within you. It's strong. But I don't. I don't know how to turn it on. Just stay close. And I'll keep it burning. Just promise me you'll stay far away from dream machines. You bet. I'm never connecting to dream time again. Not after this. Alright, there's the light. Uh-oh. I'm drowning in it. The dark, the dark. The dark is everywhere. There's a light inside him, but it keeps turning off. Something's fighting back. The dark. Hmm. The dark is everywhere. There's a light inside him, but it keeps turning off. It's him. The source of the darkness. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. He's fighting me and he doesn't even know it. He needs to stop or I can't help him. It's happening again. It's happening. The darkness. It's closing in. You're letting your fears control you. I hate the dark. 
I can't stand it. I know, and you're feeding it. You need to let it go. Your fears and worries. You have the power to banish this darkness, remember? The light within you? That's right. The dark makes me forget. So just let it go. Brighten up. Shine for me, you crazy diamond. <laughs> but I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. You're not alone. I'm here to help you. <sighs> Thank you. All right, let me do it for you. Just don't resist. There you go. See? All this time you carried the light within. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Thank you. Can you please help me find my way? Of course. Oh, I can tell him where to go. Well, go towards the light, obviously. Or can I tell him to go, like, towards the dark or something? That wouldn't make any sense. Towards the light. Walk into the light. Walk into the... Don't worry. Not that kind of light. You'll just wake up. Thank you. What is going on out there? It's getting worse. Jesus Christ, I love this game. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. That one looks different from the rest. The rest are all greenish. This one's red. And shaking violently. What is that? A bedroom. Bedroom. I know what that means. What does that mean? Ooh. It's like Cthulhu's trying to wait a minute. What are you doing? Get away from there! Oh, it's a child's nightmare. It's okay. Don't worry. You know, Cthulhu's just angry because you've kept him pent up in there for so long. He's really big and that's a really small place, okay? He seems angry, but if you let him out, he'll embrace you and keep you warm. Just make sure to put him on a leash and, you know, take him out for walks and feed him. He'll be a good pet. I swear. You know, for a second I thought maybe this was a wardrobe that I've seen before. I don't know if it actually is, but I just remember wardrobes in the uh, the Dreamfall series because I remember in The Longest Journey, there was uh, one in your room that you got a lot of stuff from. But I also remember in Dreamfall, I think you had to go back to that room and get something from the wardrobe, didn't you? I think so. So it's kind of stuck in my mind. I don't know if that's actually, I don't know if that looks the same as it used to. I can't remember. Just reminded me of that. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. She needs to be scared of what will happen if she keeps using it. I could keep... She's scared enough already, poor mm. girl. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance, not more things to be scared of. Interesting. I guess both ways could work, right? Yeah, if I scare her so much, she'll never want to come back to the dream machine, because all, you know, the only dreams she has are nightmares. Which would be effective, but it might mentally scar her for her entire life. <laughs> so, yeah. She's already. She's. She's scared hmm. enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. 
She needs reassurance, not more things to be scared of. But then again, if she's scared out of her mind, I don't know if I can, you know, direct her to leave. She needs to escape. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there. Through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night and tells me to behave. Or shall I unlock it and let the monster have me? Great parenting. Don't worry, I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Why, thank you. Yes, it is. Whoa. There's a sort of 3D effect to this painting. Look at that. It's like... Upside down or something. That's really weird. I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm like, am I supposed to line this up or something? What is that? That's weird. That fire down there in that tree, I think that's where I'm going next. And I think I might know who's there. I think that might be the Vagabond, as I believe he's called. But we'll get to that later. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, and never again. Okay, fair enough. It had to be tentacles. It couldn't be, I don't know, a dream about a wardrobe filled with bananas. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. There's a light bulb here. <laughs> Where is it coming from? From the infinite ceiling in the sky. Right. Why bother with lampshades when a creepy bear bulb can suffice? Pain. Anger. Sadness. No, of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> I love the voice acting. You know, is this the same voice actor that vo that voiced Zoe Castillo before? I don't actually know. I mean, it sounds like her, but it's been a little while since I played Dreamfall. I'll have to look at the credits. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Spooky by Ikea. Mm -hmm. Alright, anything else around here? Got a light bulb, we have a kid, we have a painting that doesn't seem to do anything, but it has a weird 3D reflective holographic thingamajig effect. Anything behind the wardrobe? <laughs> Can I push it nope. over? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> what, you don't want to try? Oh, tentacles. Yeah, no, not touching that. What if I slow it down first? No? Alright, fair enough. Alright, so the bulb's not strong enough, huh? She... She had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. 
Hey, who can blame her? Alright, I can make her glow a little bit. So where is her light that went rolling away into the darkness? That light's too weak to have an effect on Miss. This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Spooky by IKEA. Under the bed. Eh? 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 Oh, it's too dark. Can't see anything under there. Bingo. Bringer there we of go. light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Let there be light. Alright, oh god, I have to use my D-pad to use the inventory of my D-pad, which has, ever since I've bought this controller, which wasn't really all that long ago, has been mildly defective. This should be fun. Combine examine. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, it's got a little kitty cat sticker. I'm zoom in. Nope, can't zoom. Hmm, look at that finely textured handle. A nice rough grip so that it doesn't slip out of your hand. Hmm, beautifully designed. Fortunately, though, it's not an LED. It appears to be an incandescent, which is a terrible antiquated form of flashlight that... that uh, takes up a copious amount of power and produces a ridiculous amount of light and is incredibly inefficient. Regardless, it will have to do. Torch. Flashlight. Beacon. Ah, oh, I take it back. Totally uncool. It's hiding. Stupid smart tentacle thingy. It's too quick for me. <laughs> Stupid smart tentacle thingy. Well, I know exactly what to do. Slow it down so that I can't move, huh? Huh? Go away. All right, cool. God, that looks so good, man. Oh, that lighting. Look at that. Dynamic. Whoa. Hello. There appears to be a key here. I knew there was something very weird about this painting. Got something. A key. That's bizarre. Alright, let's... Well, maybe I should aim it at it and then unlock it's it. It's too quick. Unlock I it first. Hides before I can destroy it. Or should I destroy it and then unlock it? I should probably destroy it and then unlock it. It's too quick. I hides before I can destroy it. Yeah. Burn. Yeah, it's working. Cool. Beautiful. Oh, my flashlight disappeared. Locked. And locked dream wardrobes don't open without dream keys. There's a logic to it. Dream logic. Dream keys. No, don't get too close. It will take you. See, it's gone. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Whatever was in there, it's gone now. I promise. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never ever use a dream machine. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. As much as I am helping them, I, 
I mean, there's there's just far too many people. Whoa. Yep, there's a Vagabond. I thought I was going to go down there, but it turns out that this entire place just came down there on its own. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's there's far too many people for me to possibly help them all. I mean, there's so many people using the Dream Machine, right? It's like the... At the moment, it's like the new iPad or iPhone or whatever. Everybody, everybody's getting one. There's far too many. Far too many. And I realize that... Uh, kind of darkly, humorously, that parents would actually use it like that, wouldn't they? What well, that little girl was saying, how her mother was forcing her to use it so that she could use her own. Because you know how parents do that, you know, go watch TV. Keeps them occupied while you get, get a chance to do something. And they would totally do that with the dream machine, too. You know, give the little shit something to veg out on and then go do whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh. Hello, Vagabond. Yes, I remember your name. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Look, I'm trying to help them all and... and... It's too hard. There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. All I once had is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. I can make a difference. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. Home. For, for better or worse, this is my home now. This is who I am. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. Whatever's out there, it's no longer my life. I'm not going home. There's nothing there for me. There's no one. There's no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. But... I'm... What's the point? There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome and my actions have no real consequences, so... Why bother? I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. I'm scared of losing what little I have left. If, if there's a choice, I, I choose to stay. I'm in control here. I don't have to fear anything or anyone. This like slow motion, uh, choose an option sort of a thing with these voiced kind of thoughts behind each decision are, these are really cool. These are incredibly well done. I'm really impressed. What? I'm powerless. There's nothing I can do. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? I'm helping those who are lost and trapped. Who else could possibly need my help? He's asking me to help, but I don't even know what's happening out there. I don't understand why I'm needed. I did everything I could already. I just want to be left alone. This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. I failed once already. I made a huge mess of things. What can I possibly do to change things now? What difference can I make? There is a great power within you. The power to set things right in your world and all others. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight 
to remember it. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close, and even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. All the more important then for you to remember. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by someone else's rules. No matter what I say, the outcome is the same. That's funny. That's almost like, uh, it's almost breaking the fourth wall a bit, isn't it? That's very clever. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by someone else's rules. Indeed. The game designers. This is my choice to make, even if I don't know the consequences. I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. If there's even a tiny chance that my choice will matter, I can't say no. Will it even matter? If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Why does it have to be me? It feels really unfair after all I went through the last time around. I don't know if I have a choice. I just wish the choice was left to someone else. Someone stronger and better. Someone with faith in themselves. Okay, so I go back. Face the world. Face myself. I have to believe it's worth the battle. I'm comfortable here because I don't have to make any choices. I just react. Touch people's lives without fear of consequence. So, what do you need me to do? I want you to wake up and remember. And then, I want you to save- Save the world. I did such a bang-up job with that the last time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. If it's locked, where's the key? You will know. I'm not trying to be cryptic, but I don't have the key. You do. Within you. I'll just have to trust you on that. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds... final. But, yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Maybe bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. Good luck. He said he has faith in me. And you know, I used to know a girl named Faith. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? All right, it's time to go back. The 
If I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. Alright, so the key is within myself. The key is within myself. Oh, this is like Saw, isn't it? The key is inside my comatose body and I need to cut it open and find find it. Okay, gotcha, where's the knife? According to my chart, I won't be around for long. Oh god, I can read my own thoughts. That's weird. Let's try it. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you'd call it. The signal from my comatose brain. It's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. How would I turn down the volume on my conscious mind? Me. My body. That's the only connection between story time and... and home. Can I, like... Give myself morphine to uh, dull my own brain. That's not doing anything at all, except maybe giving me hot flashes. <laughs> I'm in a coma. I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down is stop, and stop is no bad. So I can't perform these things on myself, right? No. So I can't literally slow myself down. Oh, here we go. Life's... Oh, God. But I want to boost the comatose version of myself, right? So I wouldn't want to turn the life support off. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. Wouldn't this be turning it off? This is probably a terrible idea, but... If I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it'll work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. <gasps> Don't tell me. Is it Wonkers? I bet it's Wonkers, isn't it? Faithful old Wonkers. Please, can it be Wonkers? Faithful old Wonkers. It's not Wonkers? Oh. I wanted to, like, touch his brain from the dream world and make him do stuff for me. And then a doctor would come in and find Wonkers, like, messing with my... my mixture. And then he'd be decommissioned or something for being incredibly dangerous and malfunction uh, malfunctioning because <laughs> obviously that would not be a very good thing if uh, toy companion PDA things whatever wonkers is supposed to be would uh, start messing with medical equipment regardless all right so how am I gonna do this According to my chart, I won't be around for long. Wonder if anyone even asks themselves whether I'm allergic to flowers. There's just no consideration for the comatose. I know, right? Wonder if anyone even asks themselves whether I'm allergic to flowers. There's just no consideration for the comatose. That's not doing anything at all. Except maybe giving me hot flashes. I'm in a coma. I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down is stop. And stop is... no. Bad. 
I'm actually sure how to skip dialogue, which I want to do because I keep accidentally triggering the same thing again and again. I need. Oh, it's B. Looks like it's B. My doorway. There we go. Okay. This is probably a terrible. I don't know if it will work or just kill me. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far, unless, unless I can some somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. It really feels like it is supposed to be wonkers. I mean, this is all just... No, I can't do anything with this stuff. Storytime feels more real to me now than the waking world does. Wonkers, it's gotta be you, right? Faithful old wonkers. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, sort of was. Must be missing a hotspot or something. I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. It's a mess. Oh, wait a minute. There's two separate things here. That thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. No light source there. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. Alright, we better fix this really quickly then. Okay, I'm thinking this could turn out to be a very bad thing. So, okay. The cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now... Oh, it's too fast. Too jarring, like... Like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. Mm, okay, so now I need to slow myself down. There we go. Alright, let's do it. Where do you think you're going? Did you think it was going to be that easy? A quick chat with Mr. Dinner Theatre and then sayonara to story time. Hello, second chances. Don't be a fucking tosser. You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. Sort of. I'm not Just get the fuck away from me. See? This is why you're stuck. You're still rejecting your own self, your past. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. Now what do I do? Go in again? You think this time it's going to play out differently? <laughs> That's real cute. <laughs> No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. Okay. Is that who I really am? Is she what I've been running away from? I don't want that to be a part of me. I don't want anything to do with her. I'm not going over this again. I've made up my mind. I'm going home. What was I thinking? She's right. I can't leave. I have nothing to return to. No life worth living. Being dead is the only thing I'm good at. At least in here, I can make a difference. No, she's full of shit. She's trying to keep you down. Is that who I really am? I'm not going over this again. I'm going home. Home? Sure. Why not? Why not go home? Easy. Oh, but wait. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger and you lost every single one of them. Everything and everyone you ever cared for is gone. You're right. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. So it's not perfect. What is? I've grown. I know how to appreciate what's there now, what I have, instead of complaining about what I don't. I'm not asking for a perfect home. I just want a home. And my life back. <clears throat> nice retort, big sister. Did you rehearse that one? What did you call me? Touch a nerve, did I? That was you. 
You were there. You said goodbye to Faith. It's not for you to mock and use against me. That was never me. You left me behind before that. You ignored your true self and pretended to be a hero. Like that was ever gonna stick. No, not a hero. A grown-up, unlike the whiny bitch I used to be. But, you know, that's okay. I accept who I was. I accept you. <laughs> Spare me the bullshit. You're lying to yourself. You don't want anything to do with me. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. Oh yeah? And... And who is that? Interesting. Why to see what other players have chosen? Well, let's make up my mind first. I used to know where my life was supposed to be heading. But I'm not sure that's where I want to go next. And that's fine. I'm ready for a change. I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. There was certainty in that. I don't know why I lost faith in who I was and who I wanted to be, but it's time to find my way back. Hmm. I used to know where my life was supposed to be heading, but I'm not sure that's where I want to go next. And that's fine. I'm ready for a change. Just because we're going back doesn't mean we have to do things the way that I had planned them. My life doesn't have to be what it was going to be before. I don't have to go back on the old path. No. Let's go back and let's see what, what could be. You know, I've changed. I'm not the person I was before. So why go back on the pathway that the old me had chosen? So I'm going to choose a left one, but first, let's see what other people chose. Oh, wow. People went with the left option by a wide, wide majority. 81%, damn. Alright. I'm not, I'm not really sure why that, um, you know, view other players' decisions is there. I don't dislike it, but I don't really like it either. I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. You know, it's kind of neat, but I really don't want to look at that before I make my decisions. I really don't want it to influence my decisions. Because that just doesn't seem like a good idea. I want to be making my decisions based on my thoughts. On what's going on in the story and with my character and all of that, not based on what other people made. So the only real use it has to me is just as a curiosity after the fact. It's strange. But, uh, anyway, the path that might be. I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. We need each other. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. My name is Zoe Castillo, and I'm alive.